today we're right next to the road. Good luck good. getting rid of this road noise. Oh, we're right in now. the city. You know I love me some sandwiches. Jumped around a little Let's bit. Let's just do it from the top. The whole thing? Yeah. All right. Are you looking for a unique and unforgettable experience? Well, hold on tight because we're going to take you to a place today that's just like that. Welcome to our favorite city in America, the beautiful Denver, a city known for its beautiful scenery, amazing restaurants, but also a very, very vibrant art scene. Today, we're going to be exploring the Rhino District, also known as the River North Arts District, one of the most eclectic and dynamic cities in Denver. This place is awesome. My name is Evan Backlund. And I'm Corey Williams. And we're team leaders at Living the Denver Dream. Join us today as we're gonna bring you guys along to explore this wonderful neighborhood to showcase you some of the best places to eat, drink, and just have fun in this neighborhood. So come along. Let's do this. All right, our first stop is Denver Central Market. It's this cool food hall that features some of the top culinary artists that Denver has to offer. No matter how many people you got with your party, there's something for everyone. From fresh oysters to artisanal chocolates, this place really has something for everyone. Adults all the way down to young children. I went here with a couple friends. We've been there for lunch. We've been there for dinner and it really has something for everyone. We, I know there's a French bakery in there and even a couple good happy hours at the bar. That's where I, I started getting situated a little bit later towards the day. Yeah, they've got like seafood where you can like grab and go cook if you want. They'll cook right there in the spot. My boy Justin Brunson's got a sandwich shop in there. Ooh. You know I love me some sandwiches. Salad places if that's your thing. Too much chewing for me. <laughs> and then there's a very delectable uh, little dessert place that's yeah. got you know ice cream but like chocolate dipped strawberries and nice little sweet treats that you can grab and go and enjoy yeah. so and just all around it's just good vibes good people communal tables so it's very kind of community eating which i personally just love and which what this neighborhood is just all about so denver central market let's go Next up, we're exploring the street art that lines the alleys and the streets here in the Rhino neighborhood. And let me tell you, it is abundant down here. These streets are lined with beautiful street art, different types of graffiti, and it really adds a lot of beautiful color, a lot of vibrancy to this neighborhood. All right, Corey, so I don't know about you, but my personal favorite mural here is definitely this one right here. You got the beautiful Colorado written out really nicely yeah. with some really cool goldfish which i think the irony cracks me up that's probably why it's my favorite because one we don't have that many fish around here um but it's just a really cool one what about you yeah i i love the colorado crush we got some cool shots here but i'm a fan of the nothing without courage it just it's so symbolic for me and you know we got some fun team shots there and it's so simple yet so profound and it just resonates with me i think it probably resonates with a lot of folks but like you got to have a lot of courage to be an entrepreneur, do the things that we do. And so that one resonates with me, my man. And that's what the first people here in Denver did. They moved out, found the gold, and you gotta have courage for that, so. All right, guys, so let's talk a little bit about the events that this amazing neighborhood has to offer. So every September, this neighborhood is packed with people for an event called Crush Walls. It is one of the largest events that we have here in Colorado even, where we showcase all of the most amazing local artists as well as international artists come flying in to showcase their art to this wonderful city. Now, if you're not available for Crush Walls, don't worry because every first Friday is the first Friday art walk. It's kind of like a mini Crush Walls festival. You can hop around from gallery to gallery, alley to alley, street to street, and check out the cool art down in the Rhino District. And stop by a few breweries too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grab a beer for me, would you? Ah! See you there. <laughs> Cheers.
We are now right outside of Ratio Brewery, and I think it's safe to say this beautiful neighborhood has a bunch of breweries, but this is one of my favorite spots to quench my thirst. This popular brewery is known for its hoppy IPAs and its creative seasonal brews. So whether you want to try their flagship new wave or just get down on some of those seasonal brews and just test the waters a little mm -hmm. bit. So around here, there's not just Ratio Brewery. There's a <laughs> bunch of other breweries to be sure to check out. They all have hoppy IPAs. What did you call it? <laughs> creative seasonal brews. There you go. But also there's a bunch of fun spots, particularly right here on the corner of 29th and Larimer. You have Federalis right across the street. You have Finn's Manor right next to that. And I think one of your favorite spots to eat might be right around here as well, right? Barcelona! Yeah. Right on the corner of 29th and Larimer, and then right across the street, Crema Coffee. Mm -hmm. We got a dispensary on the other corner here. <laughs> I mean, this place is packed full of everything you could ever want, and then so. And this is just one of the corners going all the way up and down Larimer Street, which is the main street here in Rhino. A uh, little bit further to the east, right over here, uh, that's typically where you're gonna see a lot of the real estate uh, and a lot of the homes in this neighborhood. Uh, it's gone through quite a bit of, big of development over the past, I would say 15, 10 years, and it's still developing to this day. A beautiful spot to live and then also to hang out in the neighborhood. Yeah, we'll hit a coffee shop today, get some work done. You've got everything from like duplexes to like kind of high rise condo, like apartment style condo buildings. You've got a ton of rehabbing that went on here. So taking those old industrial buildings and really making them into something that, you know, is trendy and cool and that has some fun character and really reserves the tradition of this neighborhood, mm -hmm. but puts it into, you know, an awesome neighborhood and residential feel. Totally. And even a little bit closer to the railroad tracks, which you'll find a little bit on the west side of this neighborhood, I feel like every single week there's a new building popping up there. So there's a lot of apartments there. So if you're just coming to this neighborhood and you might not be ready to get into your first home uh, in this city, this is a great spot to check out, to look at these apartments. A lot of them are brand new. Uh, the finishes are beautiful. So add this to your list when you come to the city. Cool. All right, guys. So just like what we were talking about outside of Ratio Brewery, this place is not just fun, not just partying people do really live here. So <laughs> this is Improper City here, one of my favorite spots to go to to get some work done. During the day, you'll find a bunch of people sitting there with the laptops, creatives, and people just getting together to collaborate. A lot of the people who live here in the neighborhood, they also love this spot as well as all of the other coffee shops around here. But the cool thing about Improper City is when the sun goes down, it turns into quite a party scene, which is a lot of fun. Talk. When the sun goes <laughs> down, you'll be grooving. When the sun goes down, we'll be feeling all right. Exactly, just like that groove, this neighborhood hosts a fantastic music event called the Rhino Music Festival. Yeah. It's pretty much like the counterpart to Crush Walls where we're showcasing not art this time, we're showcasing all of the local artists music artists that is, local bands, as well as inviting a lot of bands from across the nation, even internationally. So come on over that summer weekend and it's a lot, a lot of fun. Well, if you're in town in September, number one, you better stop by for my birthday, which is September 20th. <laughs> Buy me something nice, would you? <laughs> but also they've got the Rhino Oktoberfest, which I think it speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. They close down the streets, you got the Steins, the later hosens, mm -hmm. all the uh, suspenders, and all the good stuff, man. So check it uh, out, the Rhino Arts District in September for the Oktoberfest. It's awesome. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. This was so much fun bringing you along to one of my favorite neighborhoods in the city. Again, a beautiful place to live. If you're first coming to Denver, check out the apartments here but also the nightlife here is truly unbeatable. It's getting cold out. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. It's been cold out the whole time, brother. <laughs> yeah. We're making some sacrifices for you. 
Be sure to like and subscribe and just share this thing if you think that there's somebody else that can benefit from knowing what Denver is all about. And please be sure to join us on the next one. Oh yeah, boom. <laughs> Toe touch, it's a little too cold out here. I think I pulled a hammy. We better get out of here, man. Let's, do Let's it. go grab some coffee. See you guys See soon. You. Well, hold on tight because we're going to take you to a place today that's just like that. <clears throat> All right, bro. Yeah. Diesel trucks <laughs> coming in hot. <laughs> we're going to wait on that one. From fer <coughs> fresh. Fresh. <laughs> From bleh. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Stay still. Stay still. My then, eyes. Then we'll just cut it in. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.